Duty World War II, hands on with multiplayer for the very first time. All the biggest games of the year are being announced right here. And myself and Claire have flown 12 hours from the UK to LA to be here for you guys to get early gameplay, play all of these games. I'm so excited. So you guys may have seen my top five games that I'm excited for for E3 2017. We've got Call of Duty World War 2, Destiny 2, yeah. Need for Speed Payback, yeah. we've got The Escapist 2, we've got Super Mario Odyssey, so many new games. I'm gonna bring you guys with us for the whole of this week as we go to all the behind the scenes, all of the new games. It's gonna be amazing. Which game are you most excited <gasps> for? I, I'm really excited for Destiny 2. Okay, amazing. Actually, you know what I'm really excited for? The yes. co-op game that EA announced. Yes. Um, one way, a way, one out, way out, a way out. A way out, yeah, there no, you go. so cool. We think you may play that together. Yeah. Trying to feel. Exactly, we are the <laughs> real life. <laughs> it's actually always cool to let Hammer Game CEO, who's Michael Condre, Michael Schofield. Michael Schofield. So now we can be Michael Schofield in that game. So there's tons of amazing games to be announced here so far. Leave a comment down below letting us know which game you're most excited for. Obviously, big thanks to Activision for flying us out here, making this trip possible. They're giving us the ability to play and record Call of Duty World War II early, Destiny 2 early, and so much new content. We actually missed E3 last year because yeah, of a wedding, unfortunately. We it's a good wedding. It's a really good wedding. You guys may remember the vlog from last year. So we're glad to be back here at E3 2017. It's going to be so much fun. So if you're excited for this video, if you're looking forward to seeing all the behind the scenes, give it a big fat thumbs up. Come with us on this amazing gaming journey of awesomeness. Let's do it. don't have no mercy in this land. So guys, it is day after Call of Duty World War II multiplayer trailer has been revealed and it is 7am in the morning. I am heading into the convention centre to play multiplayer for Call of Duty World War II for the very first time. There's only a handful of us playing it. So this is going to be a very, very lucky experience with exclusive footage. You guys know how excited I am for this Call of Duty. So it's time to head into the convention center early. This is it's not actually open yet and record some early Call of Duty World War II gameplay.
So guys, if you couldn't come to E3 and not check out the guys at Turtle Beach, you will always see my headset. I've always got a Turtle Beach headset on. I use the 800 series headset. I thought we'd come on down to see what new products they've got available. Uh, and you guys can probably get some inspiration for your own headsets as well. So you've got the brand new 600 series headsets, which it comes with their surround sound system as well, both for PlayStation and Xbox, the green and the blue color variations. And they've also got the 700 series headsets as well, again, in the Xbox and PlayStation variations. The 700 series comes with Bluetooth, so you can connect it to your phone and listen to music through your phone as well. It also comes with noise cancellation, which is so important. That's on our headsets as well. So when you turn on your headsets, if you feel like you're so enveloped in the game you can't hear any other noise apart from the actual in-game sound. So it's so cool to come and check out these guys. I've been using the headsets for absolutely ages. Claire has as well. You'll always see them in our videos. So I'll leave a link down below so you can go and check out their brand new headsets as well. They look absolutely awesome. It's great to see these guys. They've actually given us a little bit of a goodie bag with some Turtle Beach hats in there as well, which I'll have to show you guys as well. But look absolutely awesome so the new Turtle Beach stuff looks absolutely amazing I'm so glad we got a chance to check it out so guys the one place I want to spend a lot of time in at E3 is the Nintendo booth in all of their games we are so addicted to so many Nintendo games at the moment. We play Zelda on the Switch, Fire Emblem Heroes on our mobiles way too much, and they've got so many new games here. Now they've got some brand new amiibos with some Fire Emblem amiibos. They've got little Tiki They've got Tiki. They've got little Tiki and Chrome for the brand new Fire Emblem Warriors. And you think it looks really good. I really like the look of it. I like that they're taking up some of bit from the, from the mobile yeah. game. And I like it. I think it looks really good. Looks really, really cool. For me, my favorite game here is by far Super Mario Odyssey. Oh my god, it is the biggest progression of a Super Mario game in years. You get to change into dinosaurs, you get to a human, like a, a, real human, human a, a tank, a, yeah. a frog, it is ridiculous. Yeah, you can see a little tank and a hat just in the background over there. And that is the one game I really want to get some hands on time with. It looks absolutely ridiculous. So it's a Nintendo fanboy. And it's Claire. You, 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 would you consider yourself a Nintendo fan girl? Yeah, but like, you're, you're definitely more hardcore. I'm, I'm getting you. I'm turning you're more into hardcore. more hardcore <laughs> Nintendo fan girl. This is absolutely amazing, and I'm so happy that we get a bit of hands on time for all these amazing games before they come out because it looks so good. Here we go, off the rails. Did you know it's time to raise our sails? It's freedom like you never knew. Any bags for a pass? Guys, last time I saw you, I was like, I hope I get to play as much Nintendo games as possible. And then Nintendo very kindly pulled us up to the media area. We got to play all of the Nintendo games. It's been absolutely amazing. Hands on with Super Mario Odyssey. The game is like... It's Super Mario 64 on steroids, it is absolutely insane. Mario's hat can actually go into many of the different enemies. I was uh, a rocket at one point, it turned into a frog, it turned into a human, as we said, it's absolutely crazy. So I was using a rocket, rocket to go around the map to get to secret areas. That game's gonna be absolutely huge. I'm really hoping to play it on the channel. It's actually a chance to play it and record it directly. It's gonna try and come back tomorrow to do that. Fingers crossed. On top of that, I am a huge Fire Emblem fanboy, and they've got Fire Emblem Warriors here, which is Fire Emblem hack and slash game. I got to play Chrom, Marth, Female Corrin, and basically go around the map beating up literally hundreds of people. It was so much fun. I am way too addicted to Fire Emblem Heroes, and I think that addiction will definitely transfer across to Fire Emblem Warriors. It's been absolutely amazing, a huge, huge thanks to Nintendo for pulling us up here, and I'm so glad I got to share these games with you guys, because they are amazing. I'm sure you guys are just excited for them as I am as well. Wow!
guy right here, the Xbox One X, which is Xbox's brand new console. We're going to do 4K at 60 FPS. In terms of the visuals of the console, the size of it is very, very small. They're using the same controller as the Xbox One controller, but just look at it. The, the, the console is absolutely tiny. Absolutely tiny. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Are you excited for this console? Are you not bothered? Does it make you want to get one over the PlayStation 4 Pro? Because those two consoles are going head to head at the moment and there is a lot of split opinions about which one is going to be better. So, looks absolutely crazy. Great seat in person and realize just how small and powerful the console is. I'll let you guys know exactly what I think. So, let's head on in and play some Destiny 2 on PC. playthrough of Destiny 2 and it is so much fun. The weapon layout and the weapons you have in your first and secondary slot is a little bit different so I had like pulse rifles and scout rifles in my secondary slot which I just wasn't aware of right at the beginning but it looks amazing. The Dawnblade subclass is really really cool. I think the biggest thing was just getting used to using a keyboard and mouse but having that really quick responsive um, controls with the mouse is something that I am really looking forward to in a game like Destiny 2 because I feel like the controls in console are a little bit sluggish and I think being able to use a keyboard and mouse will just set that game to be even more competitive and even more amazing, especially in PvP where you're against other players as well. So, first Destiny experience, big fat thumbs up for me, absolutely love it. It's, it's so much fun and I cannot wait to play more once the beta comes out as well. So guys, you recognise this and it means we are back home. What an amazing, amazing E3. I honestly enjoyed the vlog so, so much. And it was such a great game the event, getting hands on so many early games. You will have seen World War II gameplay already. I'm sitting on Destiny gameplay, Star Wars Battlefront gameplay, Super Mario gameplay, Fire Emblem gameplay, tons of more early gameplays from E3. So look out for those videos both here and on more Alley 8 very, very soon. If you enjoyed this epic, epic gaming vlog, give it a quick thumbs up. Let me know down below which game you've seen in this video that's gotten you very, very excited. And as I said, like it has been such a great event, probably one of my favourite E3s ever. An event where we actually spent a lot of time at the convention centre just playing games because we enjoyed it so much. So little Beanie is chilling on the seat here. It's actually hotter in the UK now, but it was in LA. Unbelievable. I'm sure you guys are dying from the heat as well if you're in the UK. But thank you so much for watching. It's been an amazing, amazing trip. Thank you for coming along with me, and I'll see you guys very soon on another brand new video. Bye-bye.